back to our channel. Hello everybody. My name is Mary. David. So we are a couple in Tarasho, Spanish and Kenyan. I'm a Kenyan. I'm a Spanish. Cold. So we are married and we live in Spain. So today we we want to teach you or we want to show you how we cook our Spanish tortilla. Tortilla de patatas. Mm -hmm. Tortilla de patata or Spanish omelette. So we will all we will all cook and cooperate. When we'll be doing one thing, maybe cutting, another one is frying. <laughs> I hope we'll be no a disaster, but <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, come with us, please, kindly <coughs> subscribe to our YouTube channel. We also uh -huh. have Facebook page and uh, we will be linking to the to our YouTube very soon. We what we are trying to modify it. So we humbly request you please subscribe, like, comment and follow us. We have a lot. We have a lot to tell. We and have a so lot to the show camera. You. Nobody will see the food. <laughs> <laughs> so here we're gonna show you the ingredients that we want to use or is mostly used when we are cooking Spanish tortilla. This is not my first time to cook Spanish tortilla. I've been cooking for a long time when I was working with the other Spanish people. Yeah, today we're gonna put onions, but normally the people have to cook only potatoes and eggs. Some people like to put pepper. Yeah, you can incorporate uh, the things you like, but uh, Mostly, the authentic one is potato and eggs. But we like to add the onions. You see, some people don't like, and others like onions. Mm -hmm. I remember I was in another family, we were adding milk too. So, I think it depends. Some people add the chorizo. Yeah. Some people add chicken. Everything, you, the way, if, if you have a space, you have to put everything that you want. The people put the lunch, dinner, and everything in the same omelette. Yeah, but the authentic one is mainly potato, eggs, and uh, oil. So, come with us, and you're gonna like it, you're gonna follow it, you're gonna test it. I hope you like it a lot in this family. Tortilla de patata is. Mwah, mwah. Yeah, I believe they like it. We like it. My mother in law like it. This. <laughs> Omelette man. Is his favorite. <laughs> Baba <yeah>. eggs. <laughs> it's also the favorite of my mother in law. So it's so yummy, guys. So yummy. <laughs> so let's show you how to make it. So here, guys. This is uh, we have a uh, our onion here. You will be cutting onions. You just need to cut in strips. Don't you cut only half. No, we're gonna cut it all. We have the siva. When we wash the onion, we need to drain the water, and we have this uh, water for washing the potatoes. And uh, yeah, we have the peeler. We have salt. And we have the pan at the back. It's on the fire, we're gonna see it. So you can fry onion either in the fryer or you can fry in the pan if you don't have fryer. For us, we have fryer. We just turned on. This is our fryer. It's on, can you open? Yeah, we have our fryer here. It's on. I don't know if you can see. It's on, so we're gonna cut uh, onion. We we prefer to cut in strips, which is much good. And um, yeah, that's the onion. So while he's cutting the the onion, I will be peeling the potato. You see. We have uh, seven potatoes. It will go with uh, five eggs. 
So you need to know how to make the ratio so that the potato does not exceed the eggs and the eggs does not exceed the potato. To make the very yummy one on the thick Spanish potato. Our onion is ready and we have to show people the meat. See now we to fry a little bit. We're gonna fry the onion a little bit. While it's frying, he will continue frying. Let me move the camera close. Okay. But before we have to start, of course. Yeah. I want to put the camera here. So be careful you don't turn back to the camera. Mm. Yeah. So this is uh we will fry the onion here. As it will be frying, we are also cutting, peeling and cutting the the potatoes. So here we gonna cut potatoes very small. You can cut the way you want. He like to cut like this, but for me I like to cut very thin and um, not in the very good formula. But for me I prefer very thin. He prefer like this, you know. So he will be cutting potatoes in that style as the onions are frying. And here. There we have our five eggs, which will go with uh, seven, seven potatoes. Or if it is not enough, we're gonna add more. We will be mixing our all ingredients here when we finish frying onions. We finish cutting, uh, frying uh, potatoes, and we're gonna crack the eggs here. We have to fry potatoes until uh, it's soft, not very brown, but soft. Somehow a little bit brown if you like. But some people don't fry potatoes separate. They fry together with the uh, potatoes. But for us, we, we like to fry onion separate and uh, potato separate. So the other side, we are going to fry our potatoes. You can see we're going to use the fryer because we have, but it doesn't need, if you don't have a fryer, you can use the pan or any frying uh, uh, pan or frying pot you have, all goes well. So, so the question is to fry where you have the space. Yeah, the only thing you have to fry. So there, we're gonna, we are frying our potatoes. It doesn't need to be very crisp. It just need to be cooked and soft to make the potatoes uh, mix very well with the eggs. So at this stage, while the potatoes are frying and the onions are frying, we are going to crack our eggs here. And here you can add a little bit of salt to incorporate it. Just a little, you don't need a lot because when you make eggs, you're gonna add salt too. When you are frying potatoes, you can add salt if you want or not. <coughs> you add according to your taste. If someone don't know from where we get this paper, we are enjoying the paper from the bread to retire the too much oil. From yeah, the bread. yeah, we don't throw this plastic. You know, Spanish love to eat bread, so 
if you we have this type of pepper we don't throw we keep it for when we are frying uh, maybe chicken potatoes and we use it to drain the oil or uh, to remove excess oil in our food which is better we have a lot a lot we can mix with the eggs now yeah so at the moment you have to show how you mix at the moment he's going to crack the eggs can you give me more fork honey please yes, sure. Here he will be cracking the eggs. You show in the camera the video. You are blocking everything. Because it's difficult position. Right? Okay, you can move this side. Yeah, you move the. I move the camera. Here, move here. Move the camera so that it's easy. Here, because I want to show. You see, here we will crack our eggs. Scared it can fall. <laughs> You need a little bit salt. Yeah. Yeah, we will add a little bit salt in our eggs. Because it's more easy for me to. Yeah, more easy to mix and. Uh, all the ingredients to incorporate very well. In every place we are adding little bit salt. Make sure you mix very well. The onions are almost ready. Yeah. <clears throat> So here, our onions is almost ready. Look at this. You don't make very brown, just very little bit brown. Oh. You see a little bit golden, it's ready. Yeah. And it's finished, just put here inside the egg. Yeah. I prefer to make it a little bit cold, and then uh, you add so that to make the egg not to start cooking before we cook. When it was warm, it would be there. So the onions are ready, yeah? Yeah. So at this time, I will turn off my my onion. See, it's ready according to how we like. But when you are cooking, also some people like more brown, some people don't like more brown. So cook according to how you like, or you can you can fry onion together with potatoes if you want. But for I, or for us, we like separate. I work in the another family. We were frying together onions and the potatoes. The eggs are ready. Yeah. You say. So here I've turned off my my frying pan. Let it cool a little bit. It's ready from the cool pan. Yeah, it's finished. I it's almost ready? No. Uh -huh. In five minutes more. Okay. See, our potatoes are now almost ready. We, when you remove from fryer, we put here a little bit to drain the oil. You see? Not to have too much oil in the food, but this kind of food it always has a lot of oil because it's frying. So, little bit drain. Yeah, move a little bit after you need to show you your potato here. <coughs> move it side. Show in the camera, Debbie. You are blocking. Move here. Yeah. Okay. Now here. This is to drain our a lot of oil in the potatoes. Put 
Leave the salt, my amor. No, we put the salt in the eggs. Yeah, but it's not a lot. I just put a I little don't bit. Think so, leave too much more. So that we incorporate very well. So I mix it the salt. Yeah, and to remove more oil. This this paper need to absorb oil. Because I have dry pieces. I just close like this and turn around. You see, it absorbs a lot of oil. So while little bit it cool down and uh, uh, absorbing oil, you transfer the onion in the eggs. So show in the camera, don't block. See, now we have to put onions. We mix with the eggs. Just onions, don't or not oil. Make sure you are putting more onion more than eggs oil. So there we go. And this pan we don't wash because we have to use it again when we want now to to make the finished cooking. So we're gonna put here to make it ready for the next cook or for the last cooking. How do you want to do? Normally I put the potatoes in the fire pot and put the eggs on top. And no, I incorporate all. I think that's what makes me want to well. mix the potatoes here. Before. Yeah, yeah. That's how I was doing before, but now. No, the other one people are doing shortcut. That's why it never comes out very well. Give me. So. All the oil is here mm. now. You see. So how is the paper? This consume a lot of oil. So we have to throw that one and. Um, Now we have to mix the we have to mix the onion and the potatoes. I like that. Onion, potatoes and eggs all together. Make sure you mix everything very well. Yeah, I think the potatoes are uh, the ratio is good, not yet. I want it to mix very well before we put. Maybe you have to put a little bit more oil. Sure. So we don't need this anymore. So I'm gonna turn on my our fire. Not too hot, too high, not too low for the fire. At this time I will put Eight. Yeah, because this is gonna be fat over it. Yeah. Then uh, you have to cook slow and gonna be cook inside. I will add a little bit oil, little bit, not a lot because we we don't want uh, omelet to burn. Let it take the fire while you mixing that one. Mix more very well. Yeah. It's so simple, very simple. If you have eggs, you have potatoes, you have oil, you have onion, but onion is up to you you want or not at this we add very slowly it's better to cover yeah So look at this guys. Here the cover is here. The other way. The other end. 
The metal, no? Yeah. The crystal is better, you can see. But this one is good for flipping. So, we will need this when we want to flip the the onion, the our omelette. It's better to mm. use a plate. No, I prefer plate. this one don't because fold down. the holes. It never does anything. It always do that. Uh, you make sure you are, you are, the omelette doesn't stick on the pan. So, basically, you need a very good pan that is not uh, chipped, chipped inside. So that the, the omelette does not stick on the pan. If it sticks, then chances of the omelette breaking is very high, you know. It requires care. This is now where you need to put attention. So guys, while it's cooking, you have to be chasing so that uh, it doesn't uh, stick on the pan. You can take this and then you try to make it doesn't stick. David, we need to flip it now. You want me to do it? Yeah, I can do it. So, I always flip with this, but uh, for him, he prefers to flip with a plate. I'm always, I'm always scared not to flip with the plate, plate because plate, for me, I feel to fall, this to fall down is very easy. So I always prefer with this. I do like this. Then I make sure there is something here in case by accident this can fall down, then it can fall on a plate. So at this point, you have to do like this. Then hold like this, move here, and flip carefully like that, you see. Then you return on the pan very slowly. Look at that. After this, you put back, and this uh, falling eggs, you can put back here. So, at this moment, guys, I need to flip my eggs again, like this. Yalla. My omelette is ready. Look at this. So this is how my egg has to look like. 